In this video, we will learn about this topic. Before we get into today's video if you love our videos, be sure to click like button below. And make sure to click subscribe and the bell to receive notifications of new simplified videos. In electronics, logic gates are used to construct digital circuits. The logic gate performs a logical operation on one or more inputs that produces a single output. At any given time, a terminal is either in the low or zero binary state, or the high or one binary state. The logic state of a terminal can change often as the circuit processes data. Logic gates can be combined in a wide array of configurations to perform a variety of complex operations. Let's look at a number of logic gates and observe how they operate. The first one is the AND gate. It's represented by this symbol. You have two inputs, A and B, and output, Y. It can also be written using a Boolean expression, A dot B equals Y. Keep in mind that the multiplication dot in Boolean algebra is used to symbolize AND. Another way to view the AND logic gate and its operations is with a simplified circuit with the A and B switches representing the circuit terminals of the AND gate. The Y or output is depicted by the on or off state of a light bulb. Let's observe how logical inputs to this circuit affect the logical output. To assist us in determining logic gate outcomes, we'll construct a truth table to explore how inputs and outputs relate to each other. When A and B are open or low, their values in the truth table are the binary value 0. The Y or the output is also 0 or low and the bulb does not light. When B is closed or high, its value in the truth table is 1, and A is open or low, its value in the truth table is 0. Thus, Y or the output is 0 or low, and the bulb still does not light. Likewise, when A is closed or high, and its value in the truth table is 1, and B is open or low, and its value in the truth table is 0, then Y, or the output, is also 0, or low, and the bulb does not light. It is only when both A and B are closed, or high, with corresponding 1s indicated in the truth table, does the Y output equal 1, or high, and the light bulb turns on. Thus, in an AND logic gate, the output is high only when all inputs are high. Now, let's consider the OR gate. It's represented by this symbol. Again, we have two inputs, A and B, and output Y. The Boolean expression is A plus B equals Y. Keep in mind that the addition symbol in Boolean algebra means OR. Again, we can view the OR logic gate operations using a simplified circuit with the A and B switches representing the circuit terminals of the AND gate. Let's determine how logical inputs to this circuit affect the logical output. Again, we'll use a truth table to explore how inputs and outputs relate to each other. Thus, when A and B are open or low, their values in the truth table are 0. The Y, or the output, is also 0, or low, and the bulb does not light. Now, when either or both A and B are closed or high, then Y, or the output, is 1, or high, and the bulb lights. Place the closed states of the switches in the truth table. We see that when either A or B are 1, then Y is 1. If both A and B are 1, Y is also 1. 
Thus, in an OR logic gate, the output is high when any inputs are high. A very straightforward logic gate is the inverter or NOT gate. It's represented by this symbol. It only has one input, A, that reverses the output, Y. The bubble symbolizes the signal inversion and the logical operation of the NOT function. The Boolean expression is written with an overbar symbol above the A. This is read NOT A equals Y. With this type of gate, the truth table is simplified, so we can show that when A is 0, Y is 1. Conversely, when A is 1, Y is 0. Thus, the output is the complement of the input. Let's look at a NAND gate. Its symbol looks like this. This operates like an AND gate, followed by a NOT gate with the bubble indicating the inverse function. Again, there are two inputs, A and B, and output Y. The Boolean expression is written A dot B long over bar equals Y. Developing the truth table for the NAND gate inverts the output of an AND gate. So if we have A at 0 or low and B at 0 or low, rather than the zero output expected with an AND gate, we have the inverse of this, or 1. Completing the NAND gate inputs in the truth table with an inverted output will show that the output is low only when all inputs are high. Conversely, when either A or B input is low, the output is high. Let's look at a NOR gate. Its symbol looks like this. This operates like an OR gate followed by a NOT gate with its characteristic bubble notation. Again, there are two inputs, A and B, and output Y. The Boolean expression is written A plus B, long over bar, equals Y. Developing the truth table for the NOR gate inverts the output of an OR gate. Thus, if we have A at 0 or low and B at 0 or low, rather than the 0 output expected with an OR gate, we have the inverse of this, OR 1. Completing the NAND gate inputs in the truth table with an inverted output reveals that the output is low when any input is high. Conversely, when all inputs are high, the output is low.